Johnny Margate. Fueled for there. I have a full tank of fuel. All my tyre pressures are done, all my fluids are done, and I've got about 150 miles to go. And the Ford Focus going very slowly. There we go. I mean, listen to that. All you can hear is exhaust. No nasty diff noises. Fantastic. And I'm certain the car runs better with polished wheels. More aerodynamic. Let's drag. Much better. So, yeah, it's... I don't know what it is. Two o'clock time. So, uh, I'm off to Canterbury, where I'll be staying the night. As always, in the my friend's purple day van and then off to the fabulous fabulous oh so retro tomorrow morning in Margate hopefully sunny Margate but more likely slightly um damp or if the weather reports to be believed, absolutely up, 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 tipping it down. So, uh, need to stay. I've not actually bothered polishing the car because it's probably going to get wet going to Margate. And if it doesn't, it will get wet at Margate. I'll see what the weather's like tomorrow. If it's nice, I'll give it a polish. If it's raining, I won't. So, I now need my phone for a sat-nav, so you lot can bugger off, and I'll speak to you a little bit later. So, uh, Scenic M25, I hope you can hear me, let me just do this window up a little bit. Put an external microphone on, so I hope you can hear me. Um, but yeah, M25, and it's actually moving. I'm doing 55, 60 miles an hour quite happily. Did just briefly get rained on, which was slightly annoying, but not enough for me to actually pull over and put my roof on. That would just be silly, putting the roof on. But, uh, I've no idea what the time is, but I'm guessing M25 about an hour, so I'm probably still about an hour and a half away from my overnight stop at Canterbury. Not seen an awful lot so far on the run. There was a Cobra, obviously a kick car, Cobra. Um, it's been about it really. Rather noisy sleep mate. Um, quick chat with a couple of trackers on the old CB. Uh, I've not caught up with any of the other car club. I don't know if they left ages ago or didn't leave until after me. Um, Anna and Dean, who are in the purple day van, they'll be sleeping in. And the uh, Dodge Monaco Blues Mobile, they went down yesterday. Uh, Steve, who will be in the Buick, I would imagine. I don't know when he went down, but his daughter lives in Margate. Scott with the Morris Minor. He was leaving today, but whether I'll pass him or whether he didn't leave till after me, who knows? Uh, and Joe and possibly Keith are probably coming down tomorrow. So, yeah. I shall continue with my journey.
ready? And I'll have a chat later. Well, we're on the M2, just move the microphone. We're on the M2, and guess what? I'm being rained on again. Hey ho, it's not bad, it's only a little drizzle, and I can see sunshine ahead. Just, just over there, between those clouds. Oh, little, little tiny bit of sunshine. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of sunshine. So, I'm not putting the roof on. There's only about 35, 40 miles to go, about an hour left. Just a little drizzle, I can, like I said, I can just about see a tiny little bit of blue sky between the clouds. I said I'll speed up, I don't get too wet. Love British weather. Sun's out, which is nice. Oh, and we've got to stop and head towards Blackfield with the looks of things. Lovely. Oh, isn't this? Isn't this interesting? enjoyable way to enter Canterbury through a tiny little back lane and now through a built up sort of house estate where no one can park and we've got traffic lights. Traffic lights! Bloody traffic lights. I've no idea why I'm talking as much funny like that but hey ho. Well, I mean, so far we're 140 mile in and the car's behaved impeccably. The new diff is lovely. Uh, it's kept good temperature. It's, it's, yeah, just, it's been a very pleasant cruise down. Apart from a couple of minor showers. And red traffic lights. <laughs> Gotta find find the campsite. Morning. Well, I thought I'd do a quick walk around the campsite we're at because it's quite unusual. There's us down the corner there. drift car, a load of wheels, some random boats, and a kayak canoe thing. A lawnmower almost completely buried by logs.
probably the most interesting car here. Nissan Skyline GT Nismo, which is uh, really rather nice. Although it looks like it's been sat here for quite some time. being used as a shed. This actually rather nice. And then we have Mark IV Astro Estate. Again being used as a shed. Here we have a Saxo and the remains of an RX8, some more wheels. A couple of little Peugeots. Again, been here some while. And as you can possibly tell, if you can hear the squelching underfoot, we've had rather a lot of rain. A couple more BMWs, again one, a drifting one, and another boot. But, uh, Yes, it's not what you expect to find on a campsite, just randomly abandoned drift cars. Through here, have another drift car, little Volkswagen Caddy there. Another boat. See the Caddy, just see the Caddy. Possibly more worryingly. This perfectly normal site here until you look a little bit closer. And it looks for all intents and purposes like this uh, Vauxhall Insignia has pulled up and uh, 2010 Insignia parked the caravan up and parked next to it. <clears throat> Apart from the fact it hasn't moved for three years. Or two years, sorry, 2017. So you have to ask, is it all still plugged in? Sky dish up. Did they pull up here, set up the caravan, and then get murdered? Has the owner murdered them? And started again using the car as a shed. Fiber optic splice closure. Thankfully, we don't appear to have been murdered. So, my bed for the night. Not quite as nice as usual due to the <clears throat> lots of heavy rain. And two more of the exhibits for today. Anyhow, time to wake the others up and get ready to head off to Margate. See you there. Here we are. The morning of the show. On our way to not so sunny Margate. Hopefully the weather will pick up a little bit because it's uh, still 
still not nice. But, but I still love that noise regardless and wake a few people up. So, uh, yes. So, we'll see ya when I get to the show. So retro with the Sinclairs. Great little vehicles, and if you've ever watched my channel, you'll know I own a couple of them. These ones with indicators, quite an expensive option. How about one like a tiger? Sit out on the deck chairs, watching the hey, music. Hey, David, Steve Raybon. Lovely selection. Rolls Royces, Beatles, Bentleys, or Beatles. Facelift Mark II Granada, very nice. Always lots of VW vans. Old land grab. Gorgeous 54 Pontiac. I do miss my C4. Lovely cars. I don't know why, but I get the impression this Capri isn't entirely stock. Interceptor. I do love these cars. Calibra is a car worth buying now before prices go sky high. And a K10 in phenomenal condition, very nice. Now how about this? TD3000 Phase 3. Next to a 309 Goodwood. For sale. Trans Am. Oh, 
five Cortina Estate and a real treat for you here. No, no, not the Celica. It's gorgeous. Isuzu has a turbo. I love these. The dealer in my village when I grew up sold these. Great cars. something very different. 59 Buick LeSabre. Look at them fins. Just good while I walk to the, to the other end of the vehicle. And then we have this. Again, not entirely standard. The Mark IV Supras are always popular nowadays. But for my money, left-hand drive Mark IV Cortina Estate. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Something you don't see many of nowadays. Lovely old Skoda. <laughs> Model A Ford pickup. Spend all that money buying all the paint. Building the paint. See the paint? And for someone a bit different. So what's different? That. Metro, trying for claim. Peugeot and a oh, lovely Hillman Hunter, complete with Wolf Race, slot mag alloys. Oh. If only that was a mistake. All the 
Datsun Club always put on a good show. And this year's no exception. Look at these, and it gets better. 140J. So Laurel, I think. Yeah, Laurel. And then we get these. It's like dent in the roof. Mark IV, but there's a lovely Mark III Supra. I did briefly own one of those, very briefly. Very classic. I bought off my brother for 50 quid, I think. Couldn't do that anymore. But then we have this stunning, stunning vehicle. And I don't mean the Triumph Herald. C2, 66, convertible. Standard, I'm guessing a 327. Nice. And for when you kill yourself in the Corvette, we've got you covered. <laughs> Little Toledo. It's a, we used to Volkswagen world, so it's And this facelifted Mark II Granada. I just love the colour. It's gorgeous. Probably really doesn't show up on camera just as how nice this colour really is in the sun. For what little sun we've got. Lovely. Slightly modified course. We'll see. Yeah. With a V8. Another Capri, another pre facelift Granada. Some escorts. And uh, oh, let's show you the very retro car club stand. We start off today with Joe's Mini. The club gazebo that amazingly is still standing despite the winds. My bed for the night, you've already seen. Dean's Blues Mobile. Lovely 105Es and a gorgeous 105E van. I do like these. Of 
Ross SD ones in Moonraker blue. It doesn't get any better. Back, another Moonraker blue on those wheel trims, probably a six cylinder. I had a two three like that and a three five. Civics, Datsuns, Cortinas, Volvos, everything here. This is rather nice. Nicely battered. Speaking of lovely, look at this. Oh, this is stunning. What's this? About 55, I reckon. Pontiac Parisian Ford, another Mustang. Nine Chevy Bel Air, another Saab 900. Lovely. We move past the Beetle. The Renault 10. whatever turns the judges on and we change the judges every year we get different people uh, who help out with the show or a part of it and I always make sure that we're picking different types of cars and bits and pieces like that and again the mix of cars is great and what's amazing for me is I don't even I've not even read this list until I'm about to read it out to you so when you come up here and I know you are that's even cooler so first of all these are in no particular order so first of all we've got the Isuzu Piazza Turbo which is really really cool uh, G338 OKN. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. There he is. I knew I'd recognise him. It's really, really cool, and I've never even seen one, so. Uh, and you've got two of them now. It's really cool. Make sure you have a look at it on the way out. It's just up there on the way out. Uh, let's grab your prize. Oh, 
Oh, hang on, you're up here. Okay. I've got to do backwards. Well done, there's a goodie bag for you. Right, let's get the next one. Turn around and have well done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, next one is a red M. Oh no, that one's. One of them already got claimed because he had to shoot off, and I apologise for that. So we've got a. Uh, next one is a red MGB XWV211K. XWV211K. Is he or she? Oh, it, okay, I know who this is. What's really cool here is I know Colin, um, and he's won for the second year in a row, different judges. It's a really cool, wide-bodied uh, MGB, what do you call it? Sebring replica. It's quite funky, all race stickers up on the top, draws attention. Mm. Really cool, so it's cool that you've won a two in a row. That's not after me. Okay, you're going to turn it up again. What we, what we did this year was we made sure that we put stickers on people's windscreens so they didn't disappear because last year this was like pulling teeth because people had gone home and we'd like to give it a surprise. Uh, the third one that run that's already claimed his prize was a white Ford Escort and that was LGU 361P but I know he's already gone and taken that. Next up, green Morris Minor, hey. it's uh, 489YUT. 489YUT. <laughs> No, no, no. We'll come back to that one in a minute. Uh, next, sure next one. We've got a black and white Ford panel van. I don't know of what variety. C113JGL. C113JGL. Ford panel van. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I don't even know what it is. See? Oh, have I got the Reggie's wrong? Let's go get it. Oh, I'm getting this confused. So you're the VW pickup. So what's yours? A VW Sikam? What's it say on it? Ah, right, so you are a winner, but I've got these in the... What am I doing here? I, I removed the spaces from the list that the judge gave me. Right, so you have won a prize. Well done. <laughs> what I will do is I will get the pictures of all the prize winners put up in Facebook because we have got them. Let's get them this year. Right, I'll try the list again and get it in the right order. See, we're now relying on me, aren't we? So yours was C113? Okay. So, what I've got next is... 489YUT. 489YUT. I know, I, I, See, when I read it, I thought that's got to be his. Because it is cool. It's a really cool... Uh, what actually is it? Ford Courier sedan delivery. It's really wicked. Oh, it's, it's black and white. The interior is quite. Is the interior funky in it? I'm trying to remember now. Yeah, it's all checkered. See, I'm remembering. I have seen it, so I know it. You're one of the local, like one of our local lot. You always support our mates. Yeah, because I hate it. I have to do it 20 times. It's more than 20 times. It feels like. Well done. Let's go back up my list and we'll work this out. Well done, Kenny. Uh, that was him. So let's try this one. This one should be a green Morris Minor, which is NMJ552. Now I'm reading in the right order. This works. I, I apologise for me. Come in. I would ask you about it. Is there anything in particular about it that's unusual or...? And okay, cool. I don't know. See, I don't know who my judge is chosen. What? He looks rad as hell. He looks rad, is what he said. <laughs> so that's cool. Oh, hang we've got to face this way. It's so unnatural. Oh, hang on, we've got to do one this way as well. What club are you with? Oh, very retro. Well done, guys. Thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. It's good to see everyone happy. Uh, Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got orange and black Ford Capri, AKO 717K. This has worked much better this time having stickers. Your, your trophy comes with free reign. Sorted. It's Margate rain though, so it's, um, if we put it in the turn of the second, we'll probably sell it for a few million. Um, 
Sorry, I'll start digging at arty people. Um, oh, KPD. Sorry. <laughs> Brilliant, nice one. Make sure you have a look at this before you go as well, because that is a cool car. It's just cool. <laughs> Um, right, next up I've got a Hillman in, in turquoise, which is KNH528G. Oh, oh, he was up quick. He, he was up quick. If, you stay, if I stay here, apparently. Okay. Not more, I don't care. Thank you very much. Next up, we've got a baby blue Golf GTI. I'm looking at a, must be a Mark 1, XVH978V. Yep. Is he going to go? It's not baby blue, it's whatever. Don't call it baby blue. I think I know which car this is. I mean, it's baby blue, he's admitted it. He's proud. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done. Next up. Uh, we've got a, oh this is cool as well, yeah. I do know this is another local-ish car. Uh, Yellow Gilburn, the T11 prototype, it's SKK285H. I know who this is, uh, this is local on the scene, it only lives in way. Very cool car. You won't see another one I don't think. You'll probably tell me, no I've got it in my garage. That is another cool car. It's cool when you start recognising him. Uh, red Corvette Stingray EST 179D. I saw this driving earlier. We had a bit of a viral look at it. Again, very cool. Congratulations. Nice one. Another cool car, I think I know which one this is. It's the NSU and it's XJH578J. Is this the little wide arch thing? Is this the one I'm thinking of? Yeah, I have seen it. Very cool. Well done, thank you. Next up, next up. Next up, I got a blue. Oh, I can't hold all that at once. A blue Lotus -y Spirit Turbo ELN 975Y. Oh, here we go. I'm not sure I've seen this one, so I don't know. It's still so odd turning the wrong way for a photo. Not nice people, that's polite. Nearly there. Green split screen camper NWJ 403D. Is that Rich? Is this, we, is this him? Yeah, he's coming to the front. Well done. Sorry. Uh, coming to the end, coming to the end. This is described as a Cadbury's Purple Leyland Mini AJN 26S. Very specific, this judge. Not what the shade of colour. No? No, don't let me down. Everyone else has been here. AJN26S. Oh, it's the one with the... Oh, it's the one with the bat. I did see that. That's rather unusual. He's got... No, oh, boo to him. No, I'm not going to say that. Um, that's rude. Um, and last but not least, Red Mark 1 Capri LVW409J. One side, okay. I need to remember which car that was. <laughs> the uh, prizes this year uh, are we always try and do something a bit different, and this year we've done well. If you don't know what they are in there, you shouldn't be there. So, retro show what's in them. Have a look, I'm sure something will show you. And my mate Marky, who does loads of to help me out, he's here somewhere. I don't, he's probably out the front working away. He's done more than I have today, like all the rest of the marshals. Uh, but he's made these, he's spent a lot of, lot of time making them all sunk into resin, so thank you to Marky, wherever he is, somewhere. Everywhere. And also all my marshals, thank you loads. Um, I will continue with a raffle and then I'll do the best club. I'll do the best club last. On the club. This club, I obviously again didn't judge. I try not to because I'd upset too many people probably. 
this is a club. I don't think they've been to here before as a club. I know of them because I, I know of them and they booked in. Uh, the winner is the Little Car Society. And I don't know if they knew that. Did you? Uh, see, you didn't see. You, you like the keepers of the Little Car Society. <laughs> Reasons why? Great mix of cars, all really, really tidy. Just caught the judge's attention. Really cool, so I'm really happy for you guys. Oh so retro for another year. Not as good as previous years unfortunately. The weather was rather damp and has put a lot of people off the show field. It was nowhere near as full as it has been previous years. Previous years the field's full of capacity. Wasn't the case this year. The rain kept a lot of people away. Which is a shame but you know it was still a good show, still a fantastic variety of cars as, as you will have seen. Um, I didn't obviously video all of them, A, the time and B, the rain, but, uh, but hopefully you will have got a flavour of what the show is all about. And maybe I'll see you next year there. But uh, in the meantime, now heading back to the campsite to put everything away and uh, head off back to, to Suffolk. And so we're back. It took, that well, wasn't too bad a run actually, probably two and a half, three hours. Then we're home and the wheels are still glinting. We did have a small technical hitch. doing anyway the front and rear did need painting where my old garage was the same length as the car so you used to I have to hack used to have to hit the back wall and the door touched the front so I was planning on getting them repainted just perhaps not as quick as I am now having to, going to have to unfortunately my own fault while the car was all steamed up this morning I uh, reversed around the campsite and there happened to be a little small apple tree there which I could not see in my mirrors because if you've ever driven one of these Corvettes you'll know all you see in the rear view mirrors is the rear wings and your door handles so they are pretty useless um, and as I said the rear window is steamed up this being a Florida car, it doesn't come with window demist. But nonetheless, while I was very annoyed at the time, it's not too bad a damage, nothing I can't sort out with a, a little bit of paint. Um, and that's if I don't have them done properly as I had planned next year. I might just make it all black again for now and then do it properly next year but as far as the rest of the trip went we are just pulling into the garage to put the thing away We have done 323 miles round trip and as you can see, possibly see, we're not quite empty yet. I know you can't see in this light but the fuel light has come on but we are 
still fuel. So, we haven't done too bad at all. In fact, I have to say I'm mightily impressed. I can never resist. So that, as they say, is that. So myself, Mr. Ducky here is going to stay in the car, but uh, I shall now be hopping in the Focus, going home, and going to sleep, because I am connected. But the cars performed impeccably, apart from the rain, the show was great. As I said earlier, pity the turnout wasn't better, but with weather like that, you can't help these things. But I will be back next year when hopefully the weather is better. Hopefully I'll see you there. Hopefully you'll like, hopefully you'll subscribe, hopefully you'll comment nice things and send me money or gifts or nice cars for me to drive and review or winning lottery tickets. And also, anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm waffling because I'm tired. So on that note, the duck says goodbye. I says goodbye. Goodbye.